Hey guys, I'm back with another makeup tutorial. I'm thinking of creating a series with the Wet n Wild 8 Pan um, Color Icon Palettes. I have three of them and I did a look with the Petal Pusher Palette today. It's just purples. Um, I also have the Comfort Zone, which is a neutral palette. And I had the blue had me at hello, but with that was actually the palette I was going to use today, but I dropped it and this happened. So I'm going to have to purchase another one. But other than that, I'm going to be creating possibly two looks with each palette. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that bi-weekly or just weekly. I chose to use these palettes because they're relatively cheap and they can be found anywhere. Some people, some of my subscribers don't like buying high-end eyeshadow because they're not really familiar with doing eyeshadow. So they don't want to spend the money if they don't know how to do it. So these palettes are a really good alternative and a really good palette to start learning from. Just to learn how to blend and what colors look good with each other and everything. If you want to learn how to get this makeup look, please keep on watching. I've already started with one eye just to save time, so I'm going to take my Urban Decay Pattern Potion in Original. And I'm going to apply that to my eyelid and my lower lash line just to help the eyeshadow stay on a little bit longer and make the color quality better. Taking the Petal Pusher palette, I'm going to take this eyelid color right here, which is the left one. I'm going to take that on a flat shader brush. Just pack it on your brush and apply this to the eyelid. Now I'm taking this detailed crease brush and this crease color from the <laughs> left side and I'm dipping my brush into it and then I'm tapping off the extra because this eyeshadow does create fallout and you don't want it all over your face. So you're just going to put this directly into your crease. It's a little dip in your socket bone. And you're just going to keep adding as much product as you need until you get the color quality that you want. Actually, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges to make the blending process easier. And I'm going to go back with the crease brush and add more of the purple color and just repeat the process add more color and blend it out and add more color and blend it out it's better to start off with little eyeshadow than to put too much because you can always add more if you put too little but you can't really take eyeshadow off once it's already on now I'm taking a large stiff brush and I'm taking the brow bone color from the left side of the palette. And I'm just going to add that as a brow bone highlight. I'm going back in with that detailed crease brush. And I'm taking the crease color from the right side of the palette. It's just a dark purple with purple uh, glitter in it. I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip of the brush and just put some into the crease just to deepen up a little bit. You don't want to put too much because this is just going to be a subtle difference. You don't want to have an overload. You still want to see a little bit of that first purple you put in. Just a little bit all throughout the crease and take your blending brush and just blend that out again. Taking a stiff shader brush, I'm going to take the definer color from the left side of the palette. I'm just going to pack that on my brush, tap out the excess, and just apply this to the outer corner of my eyelid.
Now I'm gonna take this, the black definer color on the right side of the palette and just dip the tip of my brush into it. And I'm gonna make a line from my outer lash line outward. Need a little bit more. Go outward and then bring it in towards your crease to your little outer V right there. And now just blend that out. Now I'm just going to take a pointed brush and take the left side definer color and just apply this from the outer corner of the lash line, the lower lash line to the inner corner. I didn't get anything here. And taking the right side definer color, I'm just getting some more on that same brush and putting it just on the outer corner of the lower lash line to connect the darkness from the upper lash line to the lower lash line. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to make a winged liner. So I'm going out from the lower lash line. Straight out at an angle towards the end of my eyebrow. Oops. And after that, I'm just going to bring it in. Now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara and apply two coats to the bottom and upper lashes. Now I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in zero. And I'm going to tight line and put some in my waterline. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm going to take this color right here called Venus. It's just a shimmery um, off-white color and I'm going to take that on a brush and just put some on the inner corner. to take the NARS Laguna bronzer and just put this on the hollows of my cheekbones um, under my jaw and around my chin and forehead just to contour a bit and give me a bit of color in my face now I'm taking the Urban Decay flush palette and I'm taking this a blush color right here and I'm just applying that to the apples on my cheeks and I'm taking the highlight color right here from the same palette and I'm just applying this to the tops of the cheekbones down the bridge of the nose since you have a lot going on in your eyes, you want to keep your base and your lips more um, settled down. You don't want to have a strong eyelid and a strong lip or a strong cheek. So I'm going to use a matte lipstick from Revlon. It's called Nude Attitude. And I'm just going to apply that. And I'm going to take the Beauty Rush lip gloss in sugar and spice. Now I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray. 
just to make everything last longer. Okay guys, that concludes the makeup tutorial. This is what the finished eye product looks like. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button up there. And also check out the description box where you can find my Instagram, my Tumblr, and my blog spot where I talk about makeup and other things. So that's it. See you next time, guys. Bye.